Come on, focus out. There we go. Hey guys, Lexi here, and happy holidays. So since Hunter's been on his paleo diet and has been really strict, he told me that he has been craving some eggnog. So I went online to find a recipe and luckily I found one. So I wanted to share with you guys this recipe and hopefully it's good. We'll have him try it. So what you're gonna need is coconut milk, vanilla, eggs, almond milk, allspice, cinnamon, and nutmeg. Pretty easy. The recipe seems really easy, like a little too easy. So here we go. All right, so it says two cups of coconut milk. Full fat it asked for. I never used one of these electric can openers, but I can't imagine it being that hard. Whoop. Hey yo! Whoop. This thing is awesome! This is what the full fat coconut milk looks like. It's pretty cool. That's really, really thick. Two cups. This looks really dirty. Hold on. Have you guys ever gotten the paper towels where you dry the thing, but it doesn't really dry, it kind of just pushes the water around? There's sometimes actual towels like that, that just pushes water around on your body that you're like, you're not even drying. Like, what is the purpose of you? <sighs> two cups, two cups, two cups. Clearly I've never worked with coconut milk before. Whoa! Did you guys see that? Um, so does that mean whole thing. Okay, okay. I think that includes this part. I'm not really sure. I'm just gonna put the whole can in there. So now we need two cups of almond milk. So in this kitchen, I only have like a hand blender. So I was gonna put it all in here, but that's a lot of liquid. I mean, I guess that could work, but I feel like that's a bad idea. Although I wonder if I can put it in here. I'm gonna get a bowl. Hold on. I'm gonna put two cups of almond milk in this bad boy. Hello. Hi. What are you doing? <laughs> I'm filming my video. So after two cups of almond milk, I can just... Hunter comes in. <laughs> oh, half a cup of maple syrup. Hi. You don't have it? Should I hope so? I forgot to add this to the ingredient list. You're gonna need a half a cup of maple syrup. Alright, half a cup. Hey! <laughs> Don't goose me. Not in front of my friends. Maple syrup chip. One teaspoon of pure vanilla extract. Vanilla extract. One teaspoon. Don't mind me in the video, I'm just living life. <laughs> Coming home from a long day's work to a really cute <laughs> setup. My life is amazing, guys. One teaspoon of ground cinnamon is next. I should probably not do that right over the bowl so I can get the exact amount because everything has been so accurate before. All right, one teaspoon of ground cinnamon. Check. Now I have to do the one teaspoon of nutmeg, eighth a teaspoon of ground allspice. Thought it was just found in deodorant. Turns out it's not. I don't think I've even ever used the smallest one. Eighth of a teaspoon. So then you're gonna want four large pastured egg yolks, which means four cage-free eggs. Ugh. They're so fun. Okay, now that we have all the ingredients in, um, it says to blend all the ingredients on a high speed for two minutes. I don't know if this is gonna work though with this, but hey, we're gonna try it. All right, this is not blending. Oh, I think I got it. Oh yeah, I got it. Serve chilled with freshly ground nutmeg on top. It's not very chilled. Ah! All right, I'm gonna sprinkle some nutmeg on it. It's ready. Cheers. <laughs> oh. 
It was really good. That's good. Cinnamon, allspice, nutmeg, vanilla. Magic. And magic and love. Well, thank you guys for watching this video. If you guys like eggnog, please be sure to hit that like button. And let me know in the comments below if you made the paleo eggnog and let us know what you think. Also, big thank you to realfoodoutlaws.com for letting us borrow this recipe. And I'll see you guys in the chat. Bye. Later. It can't be bad for you. No, well, it's pretty good. Yeah. It is really good. Is there more? Uh, not really. But you can have mine. You don't want it?